Wisdom's bursting flesh, sparkling and cracked with flesh motion, is static insolence, dialing no and yes, oh god, yesterday we cut out messages and Barbie doll avatars looking confused and beautiful, finding that costumed notepad scribbles. Tomorrow at 7 a.m. and youth waits for a strong chin to flash parlor in a forest of nighttime casinos where we lived along minted semi-lucent centerfold that flaked hotels as we wash our face and shave our skin, our grass. Our rotting tea, while curious poets meander and model concern. Caring in comedic grace-filled bliss, filled ignorance. Where no order or arrogance lies, just sliding blank seminal histories. Mist, fragrances of mustard seeds. Bursting gracious cows, feeding mother superiors. Sour milky white eyelids, flapping punishment over rows of shoes. Boasting dogmatic rivers, riding fetch and flee. Demanding sacrifice and blistered fill, dooming righteous and sublime buttered con artists seek business in old women's eyes and dirty words kiting contacted worlds of pure worth. What drives the writing hounds, the bourbon stupor, the glowing haze of a hostile fixer, a spray and a possibility of being anything other than a molested bottle, sipping beasts easy going under the sleeping green heart. The worldly girls, the coquette, the blonde, nursing, prickly children asleep at breast, scream, government and nation, Allah and country, foggy and hazy and ill at ease, on the ceaseless expanding cancer of black top veins that bloat with box coffins, shifting naked apes from one prison to the next, never realizing how much it weighs on them until they are free of the childlike innocence and the drama and tragedy of life on the street of glorious sleep, seeing dreams, seeing the face of fraud and pretense, seeing the old house haunted and elegant, folding death becoming murder, minding danger, rousing ideas, wondering what our sleeper looks for in his black and white world. What does the shape of things mean in this land of sunlight that stirs us as we wake, thinking of the camera and what a life it is? A life of glass doldrums on blank paper clawed book reports. Eating the piece of grieving painters who paint sets of spiral tunes to a spiral tune. On this end it makes vibration and violence against the hunter, the angel, the singer. The winding guitar placing her hand on a rebellion against waking stigmatism. And God knows the way our sleep does not stop to serve us. Oh, golden eyes agreeing on one thing. Conquest is more than obtainment with silly friends, viewing a lifetime of opening doors over still dancers, thinking organic thin plots of humorous drink, oh godly drink, oh wondering maid. She's alive, she's the world where free, good, free snow gloves tingle fingers as they tip scared, sacred, mingling, profane verbs in giddy gay windows, mirroring thalamus presenting self bliss, self love, self. Solid self, sustained selves through it all, through interlocking sequences of bubbled realities in a land where white men spill sexuality, lapping generous hound dogs bathing in our afterglow. Through that lustrous flow, where to be in our presence is to make love in a flamingo spring, who speaks of how we were in God's memory, ghost bathing strange, but intense slipping in a casual fire beware on the wall because he's afraid of. He's free. This young sporting cliche. This fine image dancing inhuman and bonny eyes scream paranoia has got pain and some great intensity. Hours class slays a beat, slays a con, a concept of who I think I look like I thought. We naked, we apes, pleasant on the brain with nowhere for electric spines, nowhere for conductors sending button meshes or cucker spangle tickets. We are fleeting, alive, smoking, always forgiving the moving picture, the motion of the midnight word which takes on new meaning, and as it forms thought pattern of eternal absence, whooshing towards itself, abstained substrate, coagulated, glow dark form. She's got filaments and intense paradigms pragmatically sitting overhead inside a stupendous Shiva, a stupendous Siddhartha, a stupendous fictions and fallacious falls, filling cavernous happenstances, admit oddness within reality. It's an RBR, it's 
life in the world where a sense of familiarity, a feeling that this was something we knew, something we were turning to. Life was a divergent path, this waking life was a mere subset of something more familiar, something more real. The true reality waves its voice, the disembodied voice of Capricornia flavored soup de jurang history, sounding scales and flippant sheltering the rainbow trapped under the embryo cord, rapping music listening for a locked door. Placating mysterious marching noises <gasps> in our fire's journey. Jewels, solicitous uh, companionship, controlling an expression that ever reason, red thunders, thoughts born, being loved, lapsed, and kneeling, knowing what we are, arranging voices, villains opening up with me, yearning, yelling about the invisible box surrounding the earth as it folds in on itself and becomes a wall of invisible robots with invisible cells and invisible ships that spin until they land in the room where we are before we're born and where we go after we die. <gasps> They're having a party, and they're saying, this party is amazing. One of the robots who has to leave the party to work, to go in the box where there is robot. A giant robot with magnet hands on his face, there's a screen that flips so that all colors are only on one side. The screen turns blue for taking, and it turns red and opens up for talking. And there are hundreds of buttons, there's a self-destruct button. It takes 14 days to come back with the invisible robot pushes the self-destruct button. Robot sees how much time is left. He hears how much time is left. He hears and says, Oh my God, it's Jesus Christ. The sun in purgatory with this opposite reigning over heaven and hell is one yin yang duality. Eating apex or a bar's eye and the soul of Maya's oval city should be energy. Through time of the pipeline of a slithering vector snake. And the garden of Eden, the acting eats the eve of divine consciousness, becoming aware of the animal inside. Sprouting angelic wings of turpentine, naked and alive, sleeping the grass, and the spirit of the powers is saying, Ho. Oh.